What's up, Scorpios? Welcome or welcome back to 9 and 3 quarters. It's Chrissy here, and I cannot believe we are bringing you October 2022 monthly predictions. It's crazy. Like, can you believe it? October. So insane. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's just dive right in because I know you guys don't like when I babble way too much. So I'm going to move these to the side for now. And we're going to get started with this astrology deck and get you some overall themes for your month. And let's take a look. What's going on? I feel like some magical things are popping off. I don't know if it's because of the month um or if you're just feeling yourself you guys might have come out of a strong transformation recently but i feel like you've just recently elevated and now you're just like getting into the feel of things so what's happening for scorpios in october We have Saturn, discipline, structure, responsibility, Saturday, Capricorn, restriction, obstacles, trials, hard work, self-discipline, integrity, patience. Love this for you guys. And what's happening for, we have 12th house, subconscious, all things hidden, limiting beliefs, self-sacrifice, healing endings, closure, spirituality, isolation, sorrow, intuitions, dreams, unseen realm. Wow. One more, please. Ooh, we have Aries, the competitor, assertive, competitive, impulsive, allowed, aggressive, action, courageous, dominant, rebellious, dynamic, impatient, quick-tempered, ruler of the first house. So this could be a sign that you have in your chart, or um, <clears throat> this could also be somebody playing an important role during this month of October for you guys, or it could be qualities that you're embodying this month as well. So there's that. And then we also have this 10th house card with status at the back of your deck public image, reputation, career, long-term goals, fame, recognition, ambition, respect, achievement, honors, success, potential authority. So with all of this being out here, I do feel like there's a lot to, a lot going on here for you guys as far as like taking the lessons that you might have recently had and like integrating it now. Um, I think like you are going forward this month with much more discipline and subconsciously I feel like you're working through some things underneath the surface like um I feel like there might be a little bit of pressure as far as like you getting things done whether it be at work or at school something like that and needing to prove yourself on some level um so take that if it resonates. I, I know it might not apply to everyone in this particular group, but it does feel like on some level, there's like some sort of pressure where you need to prove yourself on um, and you may not speak it out loud to let the whole world know what you're working on and what you're doing, but it does feel that way. So let's take a look now further here. Um, let's see. Saturday. Let me take a look here on the calendar. Do we have any special moons? Nope. Okay. All right, guys. So let's take a look at your career slash school. What's happening for Scorpios in their career slash school? In October 2022, Scorpios. Scorpios, what's happening? We have, oh, this came out from a year too. It's never ending story. And actually, that song is playing in my head from the movie. So that might be something you want to watch. For your blessings, we have a regeneration, number 46, which it's interesting that that came out for Libra also. Um, blessings and obstacles. What's happening for obstacles in October? 
obstacles for Scorpio P. What's happening? Obstacles for we have breathe. Okay, and love life, please. What's happening in Scorpio's? What's happening in Scorpio's love life, please? What's happening in Scorpio's love life? What's happening in Scorpio's love life? We have Treasure Island number nine. Okay. Now let's get some clarifiers out here. So, oops. What's happening for Scorpios in their career slash school? Let me clarify your ending story. We have Seven of Cups. In their career slash school, please. Ace of Swords. When it comes to your career slash school, you guys, it looks like you have a lot of options available to you when it comes to a particular opportunity being presented to you. Um, there's a never ending story card. This is really about you creating how this month goes for you. In terms of what happens next however this ace of swords card makes me feel like you're going to have a difficult time choosing the right option well my stomach is growling sorry it's almost like okay because my stomach is growling it makes me feel like you're at a restaurant and you can't pick what to eat because you're so hungry and you just don't know what to pick because you're so hungry and everything sounds really good um it's kind of like that and it's really about you kind of being disciplined and connecting to your heart space see how this fairy here is disconnected from the heart it's like separate sitting on a separate level and in order for you to make the right decision and feel some sense of clarity here it's on the back of the deck with the ace of cups oh my gosh see in order for you to feel like you are making the right decision and find some sense of clarity you need to connect to your heart space when it comes to making this decision and even here when if you look at this witch's hand it's on the heart like reaching for the cup that has the heart in it so when it comes to choosing the right opportunity being presented to you the right choice when it comes to this because you're going to feel like spiraling out of control like you don't know which one to make and like you can't trust your intuition um your your guidance is you know clouded things like that it's all about you connecting to your heart space you know opening up your heart space and trusting in that so really easy peasy when it comes to your career i mean not easy peasy but as far as like the read here it's clear cut um really connecting to your heart space when it comes to opportunities being presented to you and it feels like there are several opportunities being presented to you as far as like a pathway opening up for you um because you are staying disciplined or you're being guided to stay disciplined this month when it comes to um, things that you're working towards in the long term, staying competitive and allowing yourself to, to let go of any limiting beliefs and doubts that you might have, allowing yourself to stay disciplined when it comes to those things. And also, I feel like trusting in your heart when it comes to where you want to go. Don't let yourself fall back into repeating old, like toxic cycles i feel like that is something when i look at this uh, spiral thing that's something that you might be feeling like you might lean towards doing and that's something you should not be leaning towards which we'll get to when we hit these obstacle things here um, but looking at the blessings for you guys scorpios um blessings what are the blessings here we have the world card coming out here Okay, and one more piece. Oh, what is this? Justice. I love it. Major. Okay, we have the world and justice coming out for your blessings. My stomach is still growling. Well, wow. hope you can't hear it. Um, regeneration and the world and blessings. So, 
for your blessings this is of course you guys rising up from the ashes so like i was saying earlier in the opening of your read i felt like you guys were coming out of something some kundalini energy um regeneration alchemizing things like that and some sort of major awakening so definitely take that if it resonates i know not everybody might be feeling that way but definitely it feels like that sense of closure libra season is in full effect right now so i definitely feel like karmic lessons might be a thing too um balancing out so be really mindful of your energy too so what you put out you'll get back but i feel like this is a good thing with it being in blessings you know as far as like the lessons that you've been going through i feel like good things are coming towards you with this justice card and the world like things are wrapping up things are going great and you're you're finally seeing the closure you're rising up from the ashes you're like blossoming into this beautiful phoenix that you are and just seeing things finally balance out the good karma is coming towards you and then the back of your deck we have the page of cups this is like you guys are just seriously in this beautiful energy of like how do i explain this this is like a beautiful energy of like embracing your creative side you know there might be like a creative opportunity for you coming because you've just wrapped things up and now you're feeling fresh and in touch with your heart space you know feeling fun and curious and embracing that part of you again and like flirty and just happy you know in touch with your creative side and just feeling inspired to do things in touch with your inner child I feel like also um but just that blessing is that things are wrapping up things are feeling great you're finding closure and happiness and peace within yourself and going into just feeling balanced in who you are feeling like things are finally moving forward if that makes sense um going into your obstacles with breathe it is exactly that breathing through the hard stuff breathing through temptation breathing through slipping back into you know old habits old cycles that you might want to be breaking from so let's get clarification on breathe please we have three of wands reversed and the knight of swords reversed so for me breathe with these two cards it's, a, it's about you understanding that if you don't take the time to breathe through it and allow yourself to think thoroughly, excuse me, through the situation before making your decision, rather than just jumping right into it when you're like, say you're like, you know, emotionally not there, you know, and you just impulsively act on a certain situation rather than breathing through it and thinking with like a rational mind and clear head and a clear heart, you're going to just act impulsively and do something you're going to regret. You know, you're going to rush in and just ultimately fall back into cycles that you're not going to want to fall back into. And it's going to delay the future that you're working so hard towards. You know, it's going to delay the things that you've been waiting for a promise back on. Not a promise back on, but delay things that you have been, you know, putting action towards and seeing a return on as far as like your future endeavors go. Things that you've been feeling inspired and passionate about. And just understanding that like we don't want to rush impulsively on these things and we just really need to take the time to breathe balance ourselves out and ground ourselves and just whoosa you know the back of your deck is the sun in reverse so we really want to be really mindful about this because i feel like that's going to fuck shit up if that makes sense um the 19 this sun in reverse i feel like that's going to change up how we feel i mean when the sun is upright it's happiness but when it's reversed what do you think that means it means not happy right so that's what i'm seeing there for you guys now in the love life area wow just messed that up hold on now in the love life area scorpios we have treasure island so let's clarify we have the five of wands interesting 
and this what's happening for Scorpios in their love life. Oh, and the sun, interesting. Back of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands reversed. For now, um, I mean, that is what it is, but. So when it comes to your love life, Scorpios, <clears throat> this is awesome because Treasure Island is all about love and attraction and like love is in the air and like if you're in a relationship this is great because you're like rediscovering things about each other learning things about each other and like sparking that romance again and it's like almost in like I feel like that new phase of dating again you know um it's interesting that the five of wands is coming out here because it's like typically I think of five of wands as like conflict but I think it's more so like when I look at this card, I don't feel like they're really arguing per se, but it's more so like congregating together and they're like, what's going on? What's, what, what should we do here? But what about this? What about that? And it's like almost like just talking. It doesn't really look angry to me. I don't know, but maybe they are supposed to be. But I just feel like the energy of that five of wands is more so like collaborating. I don't know. But it's supposed to be arguing. It's supposed to be conflict. It's supposed to be about, you know arguing I don't know for me it's different it feels different it might be more so about you guys just rediscovering things though I don't know I'm gonna have to get a clarifier for that five of wands because it's tricky um let's see can you clarify this five of wands please I almost feel like that was not meant to come out I feel like something flipped and I can't find it here we go we have the Four of Pentacles re reversed to clarify that. Um, okay. So it's really just about you not really... It's about you like giving out too much of your... Being too stingy with your energy is just allowing... Not allowing your partner to really learn more about you. Not allowing each other to learn one another learn blah, blah, blah. I feel like it's about the conflict has to do with like I guess not being able to get on the same page as far as like giving each other enough time and energy when it comes to getting the romance back and being able to have that spark of romance and have this treasure island moments together when it comes to that four plus five equals nine i know that's a weird way to think about it but that's kind of what i'm being shown in my head um is that it takes a little bit to get off the ground it's not going to happen right away throughout this month but once you guys get the hang of like getting on the same time schedule of being able to spend that quality time with one another, I do feel like you guys are going to have a very happy love life going forward in terms of like being in a relationship. And same with being single. You know, when it comes to being single and attracting the right person, it might take a little time as far as like finding the right person that you get in the groove with and decide to give the right, your energy to the right person. Um, it might be a little bit of like butting heads with certain people or not finding the right person at first throughout the month but once you do find the right person that you give your energy to it's going to like pop off like crazy you know once you get the math science down right or like the chemistry science down right you're going to spark romance like crazy the attraction is incredible you're going to be learning so many things about each other like that that spark of romance the attraction is going to be amazing and you're going to be so happy in love um as far as like platonic relationships friends and family things like that same thing butting heads it might be i'm not butting heads but like as far as like being able to have like get on the same time schedule or make the time for one another it's going to take a little bit it's going to like not be in alignment with one another that's what i mean by butting heads like you're not going to be able to like line up on the same time like i'm free on thursday but i'm free on friday I, I can't make it okay let's try again next week i'm free on tuesday but i'm free on wednesday i can't do it okay how about friday okay i can do friday it's like it's going to take a little bit of that teeter-tottering before you find the right um beat and then you, ding 
it's going to be awesome. So it's, it'll blossom and it'll be great. And things are going to be awesome. Like, happy go lucky no one's going to be left out in the cold this month so i feel like as far as like spending time and energy with people having a great time with people it's going to be great um but yeah let's close off with these extra themes here what else can scorpios expect in october 2022 please what else can Scorpio? So we have family. So spending time with family might be a very significant thing for you, or you might be very guided to spend time with family. Your family may also be expanding, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone announces a pregnancy. It's way too many cards, spirit. Somebody having a family reunion. That might be a thing too. Travel, might be traveling for that. Um, travel may be in the book for you also if you're going somewhere. Uh, wow, hold on. Okay, what's happening for Scorpio in October 2022, please? Okay, we have beauty. Oh, filling yourself, huh? Um, I had another one flip over, so one. Did it? Or did it not? Just kidding. I guess it didn't. So beauty, definitely, if you're feeling yourself, or if you're not feeling yourself this month, definitely take advantage and feel do things to start feeling yourself like whether it be like doing your hair or you know buying a new outfit or you know going to I don't know treat yourself for a spa day or something like that in the back of your deck we have home so definitely feel like family or something like that is very important this month um I, we totally did have a card flip over because it's it's the dreams it's this dreams card that I flipped over. See, I wasn't crazy. So definitely dreams and good luck might be a thing too because that one's over. So we're going to take that for you. You guys have bonus cards, Scorpio. Don't tell the other groups. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, um, dreams and good luck were also flipped over. So I'm going to take that for you guys. Um, so you might get messages in your dreams. You might be astral traveling as well. Um, good luck is on your side this month. So take advantage of that and understand like even when things don't feel necessarily like they're going the right way for you guys or you might feel so frustrated, breathe through it and understand like good luck is on your side. So just be patient with yourself, be compassionate and kind with yourself as well. And just remember to breathe because karma justice is on your side also so i feel like that's really important you have really big themes coming out here in your blessings area so trust and understand that but that is what i'm seeing for you scorpio for your month of october 2022 and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this month's monthly predictions and i hope you guys go ahead and watch your other signs whatever you're not watching currently moon rising what did I say? Sun, moon, rising. And um, I know some of you guys like watching like Venus and Mars and uh, Midhaven, things like that. So yes, let me know. Comment down below. Smash the like button. And yes, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. I will also be linking my Patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on youtube also thank you guys so so much for watching the ads that are on my page now um i really really appreciate it it's the easiest way to support me and the free way to support me so thank you guys so much for doing that it, i just really appreciate you it it makes me so I can't even appreciate you more. I can't say anything more than that. So thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.